What's up guys? What if I told you there is an RC vehicle in existence that is $20 that is a drone, a boat, and an RC car? Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Well, Popeye just jumped up here to say hi and Amelia is uh, down for the night, kind of. We are the RC sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Yeah, so this is the transmitter for a three-in-one RC vehicle that is $20. It's kind of amazing. It has an RC drone, an RC boat, and an RC car through a little bit of modification. So we're going to take a look at that in today's video. I thought it was so unique that instead of starting with flying and driving and stuff, I should show you what comes in the box because you really get a lot for 20 bucks. This might be the most bang for your buck I've ever seen in the hobby. Over 1,400 videos out there now on our channel of just RC products. And I've never seen this much stuff come in a box for $20. And it's on a good website too. So we'll have a link in the description box below if you want to check it out. If even one of these functions nicely, it'll definitely be worth your money. So let's see what comes in the box. First and foremost is this little transmitter. This is an altitude hold drone. They're both spring loaded and everything, it's not labeled or anything, but it's a decent sized transmitter. Three AAA batteries, who can really complain $20? It feels very functional, just right up there with all the other toy grade drones we've ever seen on the channel. Now, in the box, you'll see, I've kind of got mine a little scattered, but the first thing that I pulled out was this. This, it's like a little boat, kind of neat. Uh, also, we have this jet ski looking thing on here. I've got a Take a closer look and see how all this comes apart. But I think this is how the drone is going to attach on here. And we're gonna drive the boat around in the bathtub and see if it really can function. And then supposedly this transforms into an RC car too. I think we just twist these things around and that's gonna release this little jet ski looking part. And I think somehow that'll be like a little RC car. So we're gonna play around with that and see how that does. The cool thing is though that we actually got two batteries with this for $20. That's amazing. Uh, very rarely ever happens for drones around this price point. They're both 220 milliamp single cell batteries rated at 35C discharge. Not sure about that, but it looks okay. It is a bang good product. It's e-sheen, so they have pretty good stuff with a very common connector there. So you can buy extra batteries pretty much anywhere. Comes with a little USB charge cable, so you gotta charge them one at a time. But I did charge both of ours so we could get a full test of this. And then the little drone itself just looks like a little, you know what? Three batteries. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I haven't even, Wow. I didn't charge our third three batteries. That is amazing. This definitely looks and feels like Blade Inductrix quality. You can see how pliable that is. But it's not. It's not a Blade Inductrix. It just kind of resembles it. Feels like that nice pliable plastic. And our motors on the bottom, are, you can plug them in and unplug them. So if one should ever burn up or maybe ruin it in the water because you have a boat mode here, you can replace the motors very easily. So this is already off to a really good start with instructions down here. Probably gonna help us with the transitioning of drone mode to boat mode and so on. And then we have a screwdriver, a prop removing tool, believe it or not, that's metal, and two spare props. I'm very impressed with everything that comes in this. That's amazing if you ask me. And I think first we need to just see if this will fly as a functional drone. We'll do that part kind of quickly so we can take to the water and see how this functions as an RC car too. Mind blown. <laughs> We're gonna show you guys this flight from my perspective. There's Popeye over there, super excited. <laughs> yeah, we thought we'd mix things up a little bit. So you turn the drone on just by plugging in the battery and you turn the transmitter on. You throttle up, throttle down, and you're bound. The light is solid. I think we're just gonna try to start the motors. Okay, so what I would consider the uh, yaw trim to the right, that was auto takeoff. And I just need to trim this up a little bit. Okay, this actually is flying really well. Nice and easy, it's pretty quiet, listen to it. Yeah, sorry, I got a little close there. Altitude hold is great, you can see my hand there. I'm just using the right stick to kind of help push it around a little bit. 
trim it off. See, we're drifting forward, so press back trim. Pretty rock solid, hands-free right there. So as a drone, that's kind of amazing. I'm gonna zip it around some, Abby, just have some fun with it because this is a very nice little drone. Yeah, this is good. Oops. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Pop, I just let it land in front of him and didn't do anything. <laughs> Let's see that y'all rate. A little slow. I think that's what caught me off guard. So let's see if we have rates. Two beeps, so we should be... Everything's a little faster. Yeah, this is going to be really good. Let's do some cyclones. Oops, sorry. There we go. A little better. Kind of wide. Let's do rate three. Three beeps. Oh, very fast now. Let's see if our haul is... Yeah, okay, it's pretty quick. Give it a little bit of forward and side. Oh no! Well, we can see that it's very durable. I just helped throttle down because it kind of got stuck on that blanket. And uh, let me go grab the drone. Coming back down to rate one. This just flies really well in rate one. I like it. Even in rate one, we can still go pretty quickly. So see if we have flips. Should be the top right shoulder button. Yep. Oh, that was crazy. Did you get it? Yeah. One more time. You just hit the button and pick a direction on the right stick. Yeah, very nice little flips. Well, as far as the drone goes, I'm very happy with this. This is awesome. We can hit stuff like you guys have seen. It doesn't hurt anything on the drone. It's got a, these little prop guards on it, so you know you can hold on to it and not get hurt by the props or anything. Uh, really, the only way to affect it is just from the top down, just hitting those little props. But they have those little smooth things on top. Now, don't try that at home. Pretty hard to get hurt on that. So, very nice little drone. Good for the kiddos. Uh, just make sure they're in a safe room to fly before, you know, get out all the expensive decorations on the wall before they fly a $20 drone around. But this is great. This is really good. Very nice little all-in-one unit. I like it a lot. Very cool. Well, I think it's time to land and test some of the other functions, other features, like the car mode and the boat mode on this drone. So let's just nice landing on the table. Really good drone. If that's all that came with this, I'd still say it's worth a buy. The instructions aren't very clear, so I wanna go through this with you guys to hopefully make it a little easier. It says to do the horizontal calibration first, so drone on, then transmitter, throttle up, throttle down. That's how you do if you wanna fly it as a drone. Then, you take this in. It's very simple, it just kinda of lays in here. There are these little plastic tabs that line up with those holes on the little uh, black bar. I think it's pretty self-explanatory when you see it in person. Those little clear plastic tabs just line up with the hole and the black plastic there. The nose goes down and the tail goes up. Then it says, push the throttle stick to complete the remote control boat mode. So there we go. <laughs> so now we're in car mode. That was close. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take this up to the kitchen and drive it around as a little car, see if it works. Let's see what it can Oh my gosh, that's fast. <laughs> All right, so we can steer with the right stick. If you just do up and down on the right stick, it does nothing, but left and right on the right stick makes it steer. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then throttle, uh, you just have throttle up. So look at my controller here. Literally, it's just left and right and throttle. So we can go nice and easy and slow if we want to. Pretty cool. But this thing can go fast. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, I'm really impressed. We're gonna need a bigger bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool, right? Yeah. I'm really impressed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Slipping and sliding. Just took a second to get used to, but I like this. This is fun. This is like a hovercraft. Yeah. Okay, we're getting a blinking light, so I'm assuming that means our low battery. But, you know, we flew it as a drone, and then we came in here and did this. Before it dies, let's just see if it'll go on carpet really fast, because okay. everyone's going to want to know. Yeah, actually it does. It struggles. It's struggling, but it can do it. And that's some fairly thick carpet. It's doing it, kind of. <laughs> kind of. It gets kind of stuck, but it kind of did it. If you had more open space, I think it would work better. Well, in case you guys forgot, this, these just twist and they lock in place, just like a RC boat, like the hull, if you've ever had an RC boat before. It's kind of nice, four little twists lock in place. And it's set up just the same as the RC car mode. 
So I'm gonna put a little water in the tub because this is the best we can do right now, this time of year especially. <laughs> it's floating just fine. And it's in there with Amelia's little toy. <laughs> so let's see what it has here. We'll just kind of give it some spinning. Okay, we've got enough room to turn around. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think this is the funnest bathtub boat we've ever had. Even though it's not meant for a bathtub. <laughs> kind of hard to demonstrate this in a bathtub. <laughs> I will admit that. Oh, no, 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 reverse. Let's see what, I'll just, full throttle is what I want to do. Oh my gosh. Boom. Not bad. <laughs> well, this is just fun, you guys. Just push the little tugboat around. No reverse, so no reverse mode on the motors, but just a blast. I like it. This would be fun if you had a pool. Yes. Or just a small pond to go to. Very fun. This is cool. I like that a lot. Okay, seriously, if you've made it this far into the video and you haven't bought this yet, you're doing something wrong. This is absolutely amazing. I'll admit, I was a little skeptical of the RC car mode. I thought, well, maybe the boat mode will kind of work. Turns out that works amazingly well. Although our tub was kind of the limiting factor there. The RC car mode, I thought, this is just going to be a cheap gimmick that doesn't work. It works! That's amazing! I think this thing is the coolest little $20 you can spend in the hobby to date. I'm talking six years of RC in the making now on our YouTube channel. Over 1,400 products, many of which fall under that $20 price point. This thing is very cool. The drone itself, a very good functioning drone and fun to fly. Then you have this very easy to access RC car mode. You don't have to do crazy things on your transmitter to get into it. You just basically bind the drone and snap it in. Give it throttle and you're good to go. Same with the boat mode. That's just foam. Just in case you guys are wondering, this is like a very nice, really thick, durable foam. I think it's the same kind of foam they use on the bumper of RC cars, some cars that you'll see. Many small drones like this don't even come with a proper moving tool, but this one comes with a proper moving tool, a screwdriver, and two spare props. The transmitter is nice, functional, can't complain, very good little transmitter. And the fact that it comes with three LiPo batteries, did, did Isheen like steal this and now they're giving it away? This is awesome, this is really awesome. I think they probably could have charged don't tell Ishin, but I think they're gonna charge maybe double for this because it's really cool. You need to take advantage of it while it's under 20 bucks. Just buy one, buy yourself one, maybe two or three for yourself. <laughs> and anyone else that you know that is even like remotely interested in RC stuff or maybe they're video game people, get them one of these. Save it for their birthday, save it for Christmas. This is gonna be something that everybody can just have fun with. Very cool. Also, for those of you that are watching and have never seen RC stuff nowadays, this is 2.4 gigahertz, which means you can fly literally hundreds of these together at a time. So if you're going to ask, oh, can I, can I fly one with my son or whatever? Yes, you can. You can fly tons of them together. So buy them, buy as many as you want. We'll have a link in the description box below for you guys to check out. I hope that price stays solid because that's absolutely amazing. There's a very good reason to be excited now. Anytime you have a rainy, windy day this spring, summer, or going into winter uh, next year, this is it. So much fun. $20. Don't buy your McDonald's tomorrow. Buy this. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I get really concerned about you and your McDonald's. If you're hungry. Bye-bye. You